This is Scott from Cloak. This is Max, and you're watching The Offering. So you guys are back on the road, this time with 1349, Wada and Pulcra Morte. How is this new touring experience for you? It's been going really well. Um, every show has been pretty much packed out and there's been three sold out shows so far and then LA looks like it's going to sell out too so and tonight sold out here in Chicago yes. so it's been going really well um really good reception so far and all the bands have been really good to work with so no issues on this tour also you're supporting your new album the burning dawn tell us a bit about the inspiration and the music direction for this album um I think we took inspiration from basically where we left off after we did Venomous and just sort of took the extremes of that album and pushed those more to the extreme. So it's got um, our faster parts and it's got our slowest parts and it all is sort of a culmination of, of one on this album. And I think it's just more of a direct and to the point mixture. And it, I think it, it turned out really well. So we'll, We'll see where this album takes us, but it's been getting really good reception so far. And you mentioned your debut album uh, back in 2017 received a, a lot of great feedback. So did you feel any pressure working on the sophomore release? A little bit. Uh, I mean, it, it's always hard when the first thing hits as hard as it really hit. You want to top it, but also not do something too far off from what you intended with your original uh, you know with your original idea yeah, it's, yeah. you got to find that balance of not straying too far from from where you were or, or how you started or what you wanted to do in the beginning but um, you, you also want to progress as a band we, we're yeah. not one of those bands that's going to write the same album a million times so there, there was definitely more pressure in the beginning, but then once we started going more with it, um, we wrote that last half of that album within a couple months. So it, uh, it, it turned out the way it was supposed to turn out. And what did you enjoy most about creating this new album? Mm. Hmm. Enjoy is a weird word. <laughs> but, uh, when he was done. Yeah. Satisfying, I guess, would be a mm. better word for it. I, I think um, this one we did a lot of demoing from the start on a lot of our ideas, and then we took it to the, the rehearsal space after that. And I think that was the most rewarding part, is taking our ideas that we had separately and then putting them together as one in the band room and and figuring it out and seeing how it sounded and and then finally getting it obviously recorded was was the most rewarding and, and hearing how we actually could get that atmosphere that we wanted to do for this record which was a very haunting atmosphere we, we really wanted to capture that it, i think it came out on the record and, it, and it, yeah it was everything it was supposed to be yeah and these atmospheres that you're talking about are also very visible on the videos that you released mm -hmm. so far for into the storm and a voice uh, in the night mm -hmm. and you did this video yourself both of them right? yeah me and max worked on all three videos there's one for tempter's call as well and uh that was that was really rewarding also stressful <laughs> um but uh we had to do the tempter's call one within a day after we got back from our tour with chemist because that single was coming out right. you know the following week and then we did uh there wasn't even supposed to be a video for end of the storm but oh me and Max were just playing around with different ideas, different editing techniques, and that video turned out very different from our from the rest of our videos. So that was more experimental. And then Voice in the Night was, was really Max's video from the start. And that was supposed to be our only video, but we were just like, fuck it, let's do three for the singles. And, and well, we wanted to do like um, one that was kind of performance-based, one that was narrative-based, and then the End of the Storm one kind of was a weird mesh of the two. So you get a lot of variety visually with all of them. Yeah, all three are really, yeah. really, really different. Um, Voice of the Night is more cinematic. Into the Storm is more crazy, psychedelic, mixed with like 20s film 
uh, sort of thing, and then Tempters is, is a pretty basic uh, performance video. Do you think you'll release more videos at this point? Yeah, uh, for this album? Yeah. Probably not for this album, okay. but um, definitely going, going on in the future for, for the rest of the albums. Maybe we'll do a live video for this album. That was always something we wanted to do. Yeah. Cool. From this tour, or you think? Uh, probably not this tour okay. because it takes a little bit more um, logistical planning. Right, but. right. And you guys are still new, relatively new in the music scene, and so often you're compared to other existing successful bands. What do you think about that? Uh, it's really annoying. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of that is lazy journalism too, right. because when there's Uh, 20 death metal bands that sound the same no one really says anything but if you sound if you have, if you're doing something that's different they're going to compare you to another band that's doing something that's different so uh, it's become a bit of a joke to us at this point and we, we really don't pay attention to it. we're just going to keep doing what we do yeah makes sense so, and what do you think are the challenges that you are facing as a new band in the scene Um, I think just making it, making our own name for ourselves is always a challenge for a newer band, but we, we accept challenges. Um, that's something that a band like us uh, should always do. So I don't think there's um, a negative to, to any of the challenges. I think uh, touring, like we're going to be touring a lot more. I think touring is a challenge in and of itself, um, as we've been figuring out. So. That's, that's a challenge that we're willing to take, obviously, because we've been touring a lot more. But um, <clears throat> other than that, I can't really think of any. Um, I can't think of too many either. I think taking the, um, maybe taking the stage show to the next place yeah. might be our next big step and the next big thing that we need to really work on. Yeah. So. But you're yeah. very committed. So. Yeah, 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 at this point. I mean, we, we always have been, but at this point it feels very real and tangible. And it's been, just been getting stronger and stronger as we go. And you have a big presence on social media. Do you think uh, social media really help uh, to reach a wider audience right now? Yeah, I think in this day and age, it's just something you have to accept. Um, yeah. and, and we're a part of it, so we, we use it. Uh, we don't try to overuse it, but I think there's a tasteful way to use it. Absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, you can use it, art I think we use it kind of artistically, and it's not just posting things like Facebook screen caps and mm -hmm. this and that for events or whatever. It's just, yeah, it, really, it ends up looking. You don't try to proper. overuse it. Yeah, yeah, just post what you need to do and, and move on, you know, get, give them the information and, and that's it. So we don't try to overdo it. So after this tour, uh, do you have other tours planned for this year or next year? Yeah, we just uh, announced a European tour yesterday um, that we're doing early uh, next year in January. It's, it's pretty brief. It's nine days, um, and then we might be adding on a couple. So that's what we have right now. And then there's definitely going to be more touring in the spring and summer. We just don't know what yet. Okay. I'm thinking about the future of the band. What are your expectations? Probably high expectations. I mean, you know, we, you always aim to progress, like I said, but uh, I, don't th I don't think it's healthy to put on too many expectations. You know, just, just progress how you feel it needs to progress. And right now we're riding the wave of the burning dawn, so we're, we're going to just focus on that for a while and then not really worry about the next one until we feel like we're ready mm -hmm. you know we don't want to plan like okay it's been the two-year mark let's do a next right. record or anything like that i think it'll it'll just come naturally just like this one did yeah pretty much that Same. yeah okay then enjoy the rest of the tour and thank you so much for the interview appreciate it thank you